The newest member of this bricklaying crew is not a man or woman, but a robot. Sam, short for semi-automated mason, can lay around 3,000 bricks a day, several times more than someone working by hand. The masonry firm helping to build this new elementary school turned to New York-based Construction Robotics, the creator of SAM, because it can't keep up with demand. The drive behind this was to look at some technology to be able to allow me to do more volume and keep my current customers happy by doing more of their work, because right now I have to tell them no because we're at capacity. Built Robotics is developing technology that allows heavy construction vehicles, like this compact track loader, to drive themselves. The San Francisco startup was founded by Noah Reedy Campbell, a former Google engineer who grew up working in his dad's construction business. He believes self-driving machines will make construction faster, cheaper, and safer. So if we can reduce the cost of, of excavation, grading, site prep, then we can actually accomplish more of the work that, that we need to do in this country. The rise of construction robots comes as the building industry faces a severe labor shortage. You know, to get qualified people to handle a you know, a loader or a haul truck or even run the plant, they're hard to find right now. Nobody wants to, you know, get their hands dirty anymore. They want to, you know, the nice clean job in an office. At this mining plant, Mike Moy uses a drone to measure piles of rock and sand his company sells for construction. The autonomous drone can survey the entire 90-acre site in 25 minutes, a job that used to take a whole day with a truck-mounted laser system. We're looking at the drone is made by Silicon Valley-based Kespri, which converts the survey data into detailed 3D maps. Not only is it safer and faster, but you get more data, as much as 10 to 100 times more data. Analysts say the construction industry needs more technological innovation to boost productivity, build housing, and fix aging infrastructure. We need all of the robots we can get, plus all the workers working in order to have economic growth. But what that means is, as machines start to do some of the work that people used to do, the people have to migrate and transition to other forms of work, which will mean lots of retraining. These masonry workers spent several weeks learning how to operate the bricklaying robot, which requires two or three people to run. It's not replacing them. They, they still have all the masons on this job site that they normally would have. They're just going to be able to get off this job site a little bit quicker and get to the next one sooner. Humans and robots working together to reshape the construction industry. Terry Che, Associated Press.